So September's in the air, which finally means that the cooler weather is getting closer. And let me tell you, during this time, there is nothing better than a heartwarming meal that fills your body with so much goodness. Anyways, today that's exactly what we're doing. We're making a very simple spicy chickpea stew with kale. And let me tell you, this is another one of those dishes that has a ton of flavors to it. It's super easy to make and comes together in just 30 minutes, folks. As always, this is what simple hometown cooking is all about and the kind of dish that's gonna knock it out of the ballpark. Let's begin by getting our ingredients ready. I'm going to roughly chop one medium sized onion, thinly slice two carrots that have been peeled, thinly slice two celery sticks, and roughly chop four cloves of garlic. And for the final ingredient, we'll drain two cans of chickpeas into a colander and rinse them under some cold running water. The size of each can is 15 and a half ounces, which is about 440 grams. Of course, to make this recipe, you can also use dried chickpeas. You soak them in plenty of water overnight and then simmer them the following day between one to two hours or until they're fully cooked through. And we'll reserve about eight to 10 chickpeas to use later on in the recipe. All right, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna heat a stock pot with a medium heat and add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 35 milliliters. After about one minute, I'm gonna add in two cloves of garlic with the skins removed and mix them around with the olive oil. We're gonna go for about two to three minutes here or until the cloves of garlic are lightly browned. Then we'll remove the cloves of garlic, transfer them into a mortar, and set it aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm going to add in all the chopped veggies. And once again, mix the vegetables around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil. And as you know, I like to mix this continuously, that way everything evenly sautés. After about three minutes and the vegetables are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is about two and a half grams. Half a teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika, which is about one and a quarter grams. The hot paprika is what adds that beautiful spicy kick to the stew. And one tablespoon of sherry vinegar, which is 15 milliliters. And let me tell you, the minute that sherry vinegar hits the hot pan, you're gonna get the most incredible aromas coming out. And we'll give it a quick mix. That way everything is evenly mixed together. As always, the Spanish paprikas I'm using are from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get them in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in half a cup of tomato sauce, which is 115 grams. And we'll season with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And then we'll give it a quick mix and then simmer the tomato sauce for a couple minutes. As you know, the tomato sauce that I'm using, I made by finely grating tomatoes. But like I always tell you, you can substitute it for either canned tomato sauce or even passata. Once the tomato sauce has slightly thickened up, it's been simmering for about three minutes. I'm going to add in the drained chickpeas. Two and a half cups of vegetable broth, which is about 600 milliliters. As always, the broth that I'm using is homemade. You'll find the link on how to make it in the iCard above. And let me tell you, you can also use water here, but by using the broth, it gives this stew the most incredible depth of flavors. And we'll also add in two bay leaves. Then we'll turn up the heat from a medium heat to a high heat. Give it a mix and then bring the broth to a boil. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm gonna add a lid into the stock pot and we'll lower the fire to a low medium heat and we're gonna simmer this for about 10 minutes. This is enough time for all the flavors to develop and for those chickpeas to have an incredible melt in your mouth texture. In the meantime, let's move back to the mortar with the garlic that we fried earlier. I'm gonna add in the reserved eight to 10 chickpeas that we set aside, two tablespoons of finely chopped parsley, which is about eight grams, and a kiss of sea salt. And using a pestle, we'll pound down on the ingredients until we end up with a paste. Let me tell you, to do this step, you can also use a food processor or even a handheld blender. Then we'll grab four ounces of fresh kale, which is about 100 grams, and roughly chop it. Then we'll add the kale into a strainer 
and give it a quick rinse under some cold running water. After simmering our stew for about 10 minutes, I'm going to remove the lid from the stock pot. Add in the garlic and chickpea paste. This is going to help thicken up the stew as well as giving it the most incredible texture. And we'll also add in the chopped kale. And we'll give it a mix. That way everything's well mixed together. And we're going to go for another one to two minutes here or until that kale is fully wilted. Then we'll remove the stock pot from the heat and transfer some of the stew into a shallow bowl. And check it out, our spicy chickpea stew with kale is done. Super easy to make, made with heart healthy ingredients, and the best part, it's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. I'm telling you, even though it's the beginning of September, today's one of those days outside where it really feels like fall, so you know this is going to hit the spot. Looks amazing. Here we go. I gotta come in for a second one. Too much food in my mouth at once. First things first, it instantly warms your soul. And I'm telling you, the combination of the chickpeas, with all the vegetables and that kale is so delicious. You get that spiciness from the hot smoked Spanish paprika. It's not too spicy, just the perfect balance of goodness. You saw this so easy to make. Enjoy it right now or any time of the year. And I promise it's gonna completely blow you away because it is that good. Really quick before I go, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Jesper Haloon, Jim Owens, Tommy Williams, Clarence Bolin, and Martin Giddings. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that we are Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego. Wow. I'm glad summer's almost coming to an end and food like this changes it all, even though next week, I think there's a heat wave coming. Okay, this is too good.